Okay, just doing some uh, work to the Yamaha YT6800. Just got the deck back on. Definitely a chore to get this deck on and off. Um, I'm actually about ready to test run the deck. I went through the PTO. The PTO actually works. One thing was holding me up. Back here, not having the seat in place. The seat safety was uh, preventing the ground from making contact and allowing the PTO to come on. So we'll fire it up and uh, we'll see if the deck will work. Okay, that's probably the first time that deck has actually spun up to full speed in quite some time. I don't have the front cradle in as of yet, but that, that will be next, probably tomorrow actually. Getting kind of late now. I still need to repair that tire or swap it with one of the fronts on the other machine. Not a big deal. So the electrical for the PTO was quite easy. There might be a faulty safety switch in the seat because I know um, I did originally try the PTO. For one, they were disconnected. And two, I believe I did connect them up with the seats in place and still nothing. But I don't know. I've also ordered up two seat covers. One for this machine here. One for the parts machine. I know the parts machine is kind of iffy. Um, will it sell? I think so. Will someone want it for just a parts machine or a pulling tractor, something like that? That's what I'm hoping for on the parts machine. Um, it does have a trailer hitch. I gotta get a fan on it still on the on the hydro. It does not have a hydro fan. That's all that's really left on that one there. Then I can actually put it back together. This one here, the hood rear fender. Rear fender on these are, are quite easy. It's really just four bolts. Uh, the headlight wiring is damaged on this, so I do got to fix that. I don't want to leave anything unturned on this machine. It's not going to be cosmetically nice, but I'm hoping to have it mechanically decent. There is an oil leak, unfortunately. I don't know if I'll get to fixing that or not. Probably won't. I will disclose the oil leak, obviously. I don't think it's horrible. I think it's just a slight uh, seeping oil leak. But um, mechanically, this one here is in good shape. With the deck on now, that's all ready to go. And it came to life immediately. Definitely don't want to get anything in the way of that deck, especially with no cover on it. Uh, the deck wheels, that's, I don't know yet. I have found ones on Amazon for a Cub Cadet. I can get all four of them. They're like 100 bucks. I don't know if I want to go that route. Or just try and tighten these ones up and deal with these ones here. I, I just don't know yet. Uh, I'm not into it for too much, really. It's just time. But I haven't decided if I want to go any farther. All, all I'm into this one here is, like I said, my time. And the pins for the front of the deck to hold it to the frame. And I have these other pins our clips right here these guys right here and six washers uh these washers here i had i i could have bought them but i was actually able to buy these cheaper at canadian tire and modify them to fit the pins and fit the actual machine cheaper so i went the cheaper route on that and they work perfectly fine they work just as good as the larger washers would work for on these machines so and then obviously I pressure washed them. I think I paid, I want to say 600, five or 600. I can't remember offhand. For some reason, I, I'm thinking 500 on this, not 600 now. I'm hoping to get everything I have into both of these machines out of just this one machine right here. And then the parts machine will just be profit. So I'm hoping to get let's say $700 out of this machine here. I'll probably list it for nine. It's not perfect, but it will be a 
running and driving large tractor. Um, being a Yamaha, that's a 50-50. Some it might turn some people off. It might might some people might like it being a Yamaha, like a Yamaha collector. You never know. The bodywork obviously needs to be done, but that's really whoever's ta whoever buys it, their taste will uh, they can do the bodywork sort of thing. I don't like doing bodywork because I don't like painting something and having a customer not like it. So there we go. That's uh, pretty much it for this machine here. The, like I said, the parts machine is running. Um, it is hard to start, but once it does start, it actually does run and drive without any problems. Uh, this one here, I did fill up the oil for the uh, transmission. It seems to be good. Uh, the other one, I believe, is good as well. Uh, I just put 10W30 in these. I don't know if that's what they take, but so far I haven't had any issues. With this one here, I will be cutting with it. And I will probably end up doing that tomorrow, even though I just cut my grass today. So, anyways, this one here is nearing completion. Probably, if I get, if I order the wheels, this will take a little bit longer for this machine to be finished. If I don't order the wheels... I'll probably have this machine done by the weekend and hopefully listed, but this video won't be released until much, much later. So there we go. Yamaha YT6800 nearing completion. Finally, it's only been a month and a half, actually not even really only been a month. I've owned these machines. Um, it's just these pins right here. They took a while to come in. I probably could have got something from a Kubota. That's actually what this ring is for, but I chose to uh, order the actual Yamaha parts. Then when the guy actually uh, contacted or contacted the previous owner and then went back and forth and he found more parts for these machines, I found a few good pulleys and a few other parts that will be going with one of the machines. I don't know what machine will get the extra parts to go with it. I don't really know yet, um, but yeah, there we go. Uh, Yam like I said, Yamaha YT6800, nearing completion. I'll talk to you later. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment.